Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day for Friday the 4th of February. I'm Alan, my wife is Anne and we live in Binstead. Our reading today is from Psalm 19 and it's the New Revised Standard Version. Psalm 19 verses 1 and 2 and then 7 to 14 inclusive. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring for ever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I like the New Revised Standard Version. I also turn sometimes to Eugene Peterson's splendid paraphrase, The Message, the Bible in Contemporary Language. Having read Psalm 19 in The Message, I'd like to read some of it now. So here it is. The revelation of God is whole and pulls our lives together. The signposts of God are clear and point out the right road. The life maps of God are right, showing the way to joy. The directions of God are plain and easy on the eyes. God's reputation is 24 karat gold with a lifetime guarantee. The decisions of God are accurate down to the nth degree. God's word is better than a diamond, better than a diamond set between emeralds. You'll like it more than strawberries in spring, better than red, ripe strawberries. There's more. God's word warns us of danger and directs us to hidden treasure. Otherwise, how will we find our way or know when we play the fool? Clean the slate, O God so we can start the day fresh. Keep me from stupid sins, from thinking that I can take over your work. Then I can start this day sun-washed, scrubbed clean of the grime of sin. John Goldingo's in-depth commentary on this psalm translates verse 1 as The heavens are announcing God's honour. The sky is declaring the work of his hands. So I've chosen just one verse as our thought for the day, and it is verse 1, but in a combination of the New Revised Standard Version and the message. And that reads, The heavens are telling the glory of God. The sky is declaring the work of his hands. Amen.